What's up, 8th graders? How you guys doing today? Whoa. Here is your problem of the day. Give it a try. See if you can figure it out. Copy it down. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, hopefully you hit pause and did your problem today. So this is in scientific notation. Notice that there's a number, a decimal point, two more numbers, and then it's always times 10 to the something power. So putting it in standard form is we want to turn it into a regular number. So all you do is you take your 3.27, and because this is positive 9, that means this is going to be a very large number, all right? So we're gonna move our point to the right. When it's positive, we move the number, we move the point to the right. So I'm moving to the right nine spaces. That does not mean put nine zeros here. And people will try to trick you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In each loop, I'm putting a zero. My point's now at the end. So I have one, two, three, four, seven zeros. One, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma, zero, seven, two, comma, three. So this is three billion, two hundred and seventy million. Very big number, right? Notice how that exponent makes it large really quickly. Okay, good. So putting that number in standard form, there you go. All right, so today our notes are the exact opposite of this. So today, they're going to be giving us big numbers in standard form, and we are going to turn them into scientific notation. So that means all the numbers we want to look like this. Number, decimal point, up to two more numbers, times 10 to the something power. So that's how scientific notation looks all the time. There's always only one number in front of the point, okay? So, let's take a look at one. Say 342,000. And we want to turn it into scientific notation. Pretty easy. So, notice our vocabulary. It says significant digit is not a zero, right? So that's important. So what we want in our first number here is we don't want a zero there, ever, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the point. We want the point to be after the first number, all right? So the point right now, it's invisible, but it's at the end, right? And we want it after the first number. So we want it here, as long as that first number isn't zero, okay? So that's where I wanna move it. All I have to do is figure out how far to move it. So I'm gonna move it one, two, three, and this is where you have to be neat, four, five spaces, right? So I moved it five spaces to get it there. I put my five there, and then we just write this, 3.42. It's all there is to this for the big numbers. Okay, we'll learn the small numbers tomorrow, but for the big ones. All right, let's look at another one. So space dot space, space, times 10 to the something, okay? Let's do 37 million. Remember these is thousands, 10 thousands, 100,000, million, 10 millions, right? So 37 million, all right. So where's our point right now? It's hiding here at the end. We wanna move it after the first significant digit, after the first number that's not zero. So we want it to be here. So how far are we gonna move it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces. There's our exponent, right? Then I have 3.70. Now, I don't need to write the zero at the end. 3.7 means the same as 3.70. So you may see that zero written there, you probably won't, because you don't need it. They mean the same thing. 3 and 70 hundredths is the same as 3 and 7 tenths. 
So they mean the same thing. So you don't have to put the zero if it's at the end. All right, let's do it one more. And we'll have you guys try some. Let's do seven billion. There's a million, there's a billion, there we go. All right, so our point is hiding here at the end. You don't see it, but it's there. And we wanna move it here, right? After the first significant digit. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine spaces, right? And then I have 7.00. Is 7.0 mean the same as seven? Yeah. So I don't need to write these zeros. We don't need them. So my answer is just seven times 10 to the ninth. Now there's a point at the end here, but you don't need to write it. It's hiding. It's just like the original number, okay? All right. So that's all there is to these, pretty simple stuff. Do them all the same way, give them a try, and see how you do.